Welcome to simplefinancesupport.com. I would like to show you one of the app uh, which is used for configuring uh, account determinations in uh, finance and uh, metals management. So let's go to the app. So the app looks like account determinations here. So whenever you get Fury Apps access, uh, you can look for account determination Fury app. So if you click on this account determination app and it will open up asking for you the area right so the area uh, for the account determination in this case let's look for which areas are available right now so at this point of time in this particular app we have three areas available for account determinations so let's uh, look at um, uh, simplest one which is like account determination in the financial accounting so when i select the financial accounting in sub areas within the financial accounting there may be sub areas for configuration right so here for example general ledger accounting is here so i am selecting that then the moment i select the general ledger accounting uh, here so obviously then it will have like you know the process areas so foreign currency revaluation or other other related account determinations so and then I'm selecting here define return earnings accounts uh, the moment I select that and it gives me the step two because all the selection criteria is done here and it's going for step two and then it is asking for like okay so you are sell, you are configuring the area of financial accounting general ledger define return earnings accounts so then like you have to give what chart of accounts okay I'm giving um, chart of account y YCOA here so the moment I give the YCOA chart of accounts here then it takes us to the place where that particular account configuration is there right so it's like it's a kind of a guided configuration you are being directed to the account determination area based on what you are exactly configuring and which area you are uh, going so and instead of uh, configuration screens in SAP SPRO so they have given the Fury app to do this configuration here right so I'm going here pretty much I can change the account and you know save this so this is the way account determination configuration for uh, retains endings accounts happens so this so you can pretty much like navigate back to like parameter area and the area itself it's a kind of a navigation and then okay if, what if uh, if I just want to come out from this financial accounting and go to within the financial accounting let me go to a sub area um, like foreign currency valuation so it will ask you do you want like you know discard what you are doing here and go to the other one uh, you say yes and then it's you know now it is in the area of foreign currency revaluation okay so no path no searching of your uh, big nodes in SAP it's now it's like a Fury app uh, you can use that uh, for configuring and I can go here and step by step I can go to like here and then okay so because I'm configuring the foreign currency revaluation like okay uh, what are the keys available here depending on the configuration the keys are available here again you can enter your chart of accounts and then the moment you enter the chart of accounts then you can pretty much go into uh, like the area of you know the different accounts you see here um, the account uh, which loss loss account gain account and you know for the valuation differences and all that so at one set uh, you can have here and if you want to add a new uh, set of accounts then you can click on add so then it gives you um, you know one place to configure your uh, accounts here so this is about um, like foreign currency revaluation account determination the same way I can go all the way back to uh, financial instead of financial accounting so mostly you know people will be working on OB uh, OBYC a kind of configuration which is MM area so I'm just going back to the MM area here so when I go to the MM area metals management area and step two it is asking okay what do you want so basically in the MM area as you guys know that you have a lot of transaction keys again you know so what you are configuring uh, determines what transaction key you are entering so again here 
here is the knowledge required for like picking up a transaction key so for example let me select um, maybe the account uh, inventory posting bsx key so one should know like you know what is that you're configuring here i'm just selecting that bsx and then again i'm giving the chart of account uh, ycoa then the moment i se select that and it gives you ability to enter uh, the account you see that validation area transaction keys validation classes and then uh, you're pretty much based on the what uh, um, validation classes are there and all the accounts that are there here you can have them right so this is pretty much uh, like um, mem configuration obyc but a much more better way of doing it uh, it's more of a, a guided configuration uh, meaning it is directing you to that place where you are going to configure rather than searching for the node so that is the way account determination are going to be there in the fury apps so this is for the metals management uh, um, configuration so let me go back again just to show you how it looks like from the sales perspective and sales account determination um, you know like uh, typically you use uh, you know sales account determination vkoa transaction code instead of vkoa transaction code you are selecting okay i'm going ahead and configuring the account determination in sales and distribution and then step two click here you're like selecting your chart of account again YCOA, YCOA here, and then now uh, I'm going here application. So here, couple of areas that you can do in SD. So for example, I can do reconciliation account determination, sales and distribution uh, determination here. So the sales and distribution is the revenue account determination, and then the moment I select uh, sales and distribution here, it is asking for the condition tables again this is the place where you require to know what condition tables you are going to use um, so and then you know select that particular condition table combination then step three go to the place where your actual accounts account keys are assigned to your GL account okay so this is the way your guided configuration is going to work so I'm you know again uh, if you again uh, come back here all the way to you know, back to the original screen where you are having these uh, apps this is an app that you can use for configuring your um, account determination so account determinations again it's through the app uh, it is called guided configuration in a way because step by step um, you know guidance it is giving it's not through spro transaction code and it's like through account determination app itself uh, so that's what uh, it's going to be in a new SAP uh, Fury Apps area. So hopefully this gives you clarity on what exactly guided configuration means. Again, a long way to go to, you know, make all transactions codes available in in um, you know configuration area here. But it is the uh, first step that SAP is taking towards configuring. So this is this is the way you will do in. Uh, in the cloud version of SAP because pretty much you are uh, having everything in the cloud and you are going into the system and picking up a particular app and then configuring the uh, system settings through the guided configuration. Thanks for watching uh, this video. Please do visit uh, simplefinancesupport.com for your learning requirements and we provide you all kinds of uh, the knowledge in the S4 finance and S4 area. Thank, thank you. Please visit again.